Palmic Pentathlon in the AIC, AIOC. You are the lucky few who have found seat here because you are going to create history. The very first people to be witness to this historical event. Pentathlon stands for the power of five. Five is a very, very important number through generations in different civilizations and in different religions. And nowhere is it better depicted, the power of five, than in our own epic, the Mahabharata. The five Pandavas, the Pancha Pandavas, giving out one simple message through generations that it takes five men to keep one woman happy. And and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my co-moderators, Dr. Shugotopal and Dr. Shiddharth Ghosh. Uh, to begin the game, let us uh, first look at the rules of the ophthalmic pentathlon. Uh, here are the rules. The first rule, you know, for the one minute video. You all know that there are five sections of this uh, program. The first one is one minute video and a one minute scientific video, which should be the original work of the presenter, needs to be presented and it will be judged uh, by our honorable judges and they will put marks on them. And what are the marks on? First is on content, they, you get five marks, quality of video five, presentation five marks, time impact would carry five marks and the wow factor would carry five marks. So that is about the one minute video. And then we will have a one minute quiz. There will be 10 questions in all each question you can answer or pass and go to the next one. And for each correct answer, you get 10 marks and minus five marks for wrong answer. Yes, and the fifth point on one minute quiz is as many of the 10 questions you can answer in one minute, you score high. Well, next would be the just a minute. The just a minute session is, you know, here, patient, uh, you know, uh, each competitor will speak non-stop for a minute and the topic you will pick from the chits just 30 seconds before you start you know talking and you have to speak on the topic whether you agree with it or not and there should be no repetition of sentences and no pauses topics will be non-academic but related to medical science yes uh, you will all be marked by our honorable judges. 25 marks are the maximum in this session. And you will be marked on the content, how closely you follow the topic. And you will get 10 marks on that. And eloquence carries 15 marks maximum. Then would be the unscramble, and the, you have to unscramble the scrambled words. There would be 10 ophthalmic terms which will be given in scrambled form. One has to unscramble as many as you can in within a minute. Five marks for each right answer and no neg negative marking in this category. Well, the final, the fifth, uh, the fifth one would be identify the celebrity and there will be a pair of eyes which will be shown. If you can guess the celebrity from the eyes, you score 25. If you cannot guess, a small strip of the face will be exposed. In total, there will be five strips. And with each exposure, marks you can score decreases by five. And minus five marks for a wrong guess. So please be careful. Thank you. And over to Dr. Sugoto. Can I have my presentation, please? Yes, ma'am, we have just started. If you can kindly come. So shall I get someone else for the judge? Okay, okay, okay. All of the, all of the creation here.
Yeah. So, um, as you know, we three are moderating the session, and we have five teams. Team I Poppers, captain by Dr. Harshul Turk, and also they have Dr. Vanashri Nair. If you can kindly stand up so that people identify you, Dr. Varad Gulnani, Dr. Kirandip Kaur, and Dr. Nupur Gwel. Second, we have Team I Openers, Dr. Srini. Doesn't need any introduction here. As captain, Dr. Ramesh Kekunia, Dr. Mahesh Ji, thank you. Can we have a louder applause, please? Dr. Shruti Nishant and Dr. Dhyan Chinappa, thank you. Team I Candies, captained by Dr. Chaitra Jayadev. We have also Dr. Anand Vinekar, Dr. Prashant Venkatesh Ramesh, Dr. Rolika Bansal. Rolika is here? Rolika? Okay, she's coming, yeah. And Dr. Pratik Nishant. And lastly, team eye washes, we have Dr. Anurag Mishra as captain, Dr. Shoham Basak, Dr. Aniket Ginodia, Dr. Puja Sina, and Dr. Haimanti Choudhury is the team of the East India. Team eye catchers, we have Dr. Pius Bansal, Dr. Arti Heda, Dr. Arti Heda, Dr. Koushik Tripathi, and Dr. Karan Bhatia, Dr. Pranav Saluja. I wish we had a bigger hall because most of the contestants are standing at the back. I'm sorry about that. And uh, I'll call upon the captain quickly to take the uh, way they will go. And we have just one second. We have five very distinguished judges today. Dr. Lalit Verma, Dr. Devashish Bhattacharya, Dr. Shubhadra Jalali, Dr. Tejas Shah, and may I request Dr. Muskati to please come on stage and be a judge for this event. Okay, while Dr. Five. Muskati is coming on stage, I have something to say I to the audience. I purpose, number audience, one. the three of us, we come from Kolkata. Kolkata is the land of passion. We are passionate about our Roshogulla, we are passionate about our Momota Didi, and we are very, very passionate about our Pentathlon. So we don't want your high society polite claps. Bring down the roof, stamp your feet, wolf whistles, cat calls, whatever you have. Vibrations are four. Are you open up? Srini, what's your number? Third. Third. Dwell. Edike, show. You got the paper? Your marks in any case will not be required. Sir, one paper is required. No, I'm going to go to the hospital. Anybody has one more paper to give to Dr. Kuresh? No, I'm going to go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Last question. No, no, we have another one. Yes, ma'am. पांच नहीं इतना ही काफी आधा फर्क दे दे नहीं 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 ये पांच जने प्रेजेंट करेंगे ना टीम के पांच मेंबर्स इस टीम के पांच मेंबर्स को नहीं 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 एक आदमी वीडियो दिखाएगा एक आदमी वो करेगा ऑल फाइव पांच डू नो 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 ये फाइव पीपल आर देयर फाइव मिनट्स मिलेंगे एक टीम को एक एक मिनट मिलेंगे एक मिनट में वीडियो दिखाना है एक मिनट में क्विज़ होना है एक मिनट में स्पीच होनी है एक मिनट में अनस्ट्रेंबल गेम करना है वाइल दी टीम्स आर गेटिंग रेडी 
since the organizers are from Kolkata, uh, it is mandatory that before you leave the hall, you all have to stand up and say, we will all attend Calcutta conference and we will all register outside. I have registered for Calcutta conference at their booth in exhibition hall C. I request all of you to do the same. The more that register in advance, the better it is for the organizers. Thanks. And, and you have not mentioned there is a big discount there. No, no. So that is up to Sugato Paul to tell. Yeah. Because yeah. Ye, ye se soha se this is this Until suggestion of yours has been accepted, provided you reach the age of 75 mm. by then. Yeah, that was great. Still, so let us begin the session. The first one is a one minute video. And let us call upon Dr. Srini's team. Yeah, the first video. Dr. Srini is uh, eye opener. Okay. So I am the opening batsman. So again, uh, just a one minute video. It's a one minute video. I just want a volume as well because I don't want to waste time after I start. So please keep the volume as well. Follow the music, you will get everything. Okay, 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 I'll do that because... One question and one question only. Was this rip accidental or? <laughs> this is, uh, I would say, accidental and iatrogenic because as strabismus surgeons, we always need a help of an assistant. If they don't know how much to pull, yeah. this can happen. Even if you predict it, because you are the surgeon, but you are dependent on the, the assistant. So, yeah, she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. She wanted it desperately to be corrected. But when somebody is so desperate, something really goes wrong. So, but we could still retrieve it. Very good. Okay, without wasting any more time, let us call on the second team, uh, the eye catchers, Dr. Piyush. Goggle, goggles. Dr. Piyush is the only one here who has the right to claim to be an eye catcher. Want to know? Go and ask him later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but very good afternoon, everybody, and uh, it's very nice to be over here. So, as against uh, one minute, so I'm looking for my video, sir. <laughs> so I'm just making up for. Uh, so last time I had shown a video where it was an intraocular foreign body. Let's do a different approach this time. So you see that the foreign body is localized right, right, in the pars right. planar and uh, on indentation as well. So we marked yes, it. 
uh, and, the, and instead of uh, using a traditional approach, thought let's do a, a old forgotten technique and try to uh, remove it without uh, doing too much damage. So an external approach over here, making a scleral flap as you can see over here. You can also make a direct, uh, a, a larger flap. However, I decide, we decided to do uh, partial thickness uh, scleral flaps. So after making the first one, another deeper uh, um, uh, scleral flap is made. And after retracting that, go in, dissect it out very carefully. We don't want to enter too deep right in the beginning. And after this is done, the next step would be to cauterize uh, uh, the area of entry, make an entry into the choroid, and uh, you're going to have some amount of vitreous that is going to flow out. So that's not a problem. Take the magnet in, and it's an iron foreign body. So you see it coming out, and once it comes out, just grab hold of it, and then uh, cut the vitreous, and just uh, close the scleral flaps again. Done. Thank you. So you end up with six. six. Question, why two flaps? So I just was afraid of uh, going too deep. So that is the reason that I thought that I, like I said, you can very much uh, do a single so, flap also. Uh, did you charge for an anti-glaucoma surgery? <laughs> no, no. Okay. okay. You like vitreous coming uh. out? <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much. And uh, let us call upon the third team, the eye poppers, Dr. Harshul. Can I show uh, the introductory yeah, as, video? As, yeah. as uh, the eye poppers are properly dressed up, we, as a bonus, we have allotted them 40 seconds to show their team video. Okay, thank you so much and all the respected we judges. No, it's yes. not being judged. And so then if you judge this one video one. introductory, we are the winners. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what eye poppers <laughs> Surgical skills. Thank you so much. Yeah, one minute over. You know, extra the Now your video. Do you go back? I need uh, control of. Huh? So I'm going to share with you one video. Uh, this is a new technique which is recently accepted for publication in Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery as a technique. So I'm going to share it uh, with all of you. We all know that, uh, can I have feed from my laptop, please? The video, please. What I think? Ramesh, Ramesh, you are a barber. This one. <laughs> this one, this one, yeah. Okay, so we all know that it's very essential to seal all the uh, phaco incision at the end of the surgery. So after doing hydro stretch of all the incisions, if you do serial test, a lot of studies have shown and we have also seen that almost 30% of the incisions, they leak. Side ports leak more than the main port incision because of more stretching. So this is a serial test which is positive as you can see. So what, what I do is you just go ahead and go and nick there at the limbus with the 26 gauge needle which is uh, mounted on empty 2 ml syringe and see there are a lot of blood vessels blood oozes out and you can use this autologous blood as a sealant you don't need any glue any fibrin glue or anything to seal these incisions by capillary action you just keep it there for 20 to 40 seconds it goes and seal the micro leaks which are there from the tunnel as well as it forms a physical barrier there so once you once this this is clotted there and you do serial test after this 100% of the incisions they are negative so see this is a serial test it's all negative i've uh, done this in uh, more than 60 cases all the incisions have been proved to be negative after we seal them like this so ladies and gentlemen this was a novel technique you can use autologous blood as a sealant to seal corneal incisions which are leaking thank you so much
Thank you, Dr. Harshul, and may I invite a question from our judges? Yeah. You no, cannot do, you blood, don't see you cannot do bloodless post. surgery in that case. What? You cannot do a bloodless surgery. <laughs> no, this is bloodless only. But the thing <laughs> is that we all know that if you have a leaking incision, it increases chances if of post-op end of thalmitis and everything. Inside, yes. <laughs> no, it doesn't go. It doesn't go inside. We have, we have done that OCT means it also. We have if it seen doesn't go, that means wound is sealed. <laughs> so I had one question. So exactly. have you uh, have you been able to sort of quantify that what type of leaks this seals and what type it doesn't seal? Because uh, I think there is a tendency not to put a suture. But yes. There would be, a <laughs> and then we should not hesitate to put a suture. Uh, but uh, have you done any quantitative analysis or any other? Yeah. Uh, so uh, after after that I what type of wounds they will work and what type of wounds it will not work. Yes, so it works in all kind of incisions, and secondly, even if you wash after you know uh, the after one or two minutes, and again you try to do serial test, it's all negative. Once you take off a speculum, then also, so it's almost more than 60 incisions we have studied, and the study is ongoing now. Uh, a prospective case control study also we are doing. This. Yeah, I think in future it will be good work. I mean, this is excellent. Uh, it's so such a simple and good technique yes. uh, to you know do the. Um, ASOCT of these incisions and then if yes. something didn't seal uh, like was it ragged or was it larger or was it in a different plane so then you can give more information excellent yeah. thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you that was nice and uh, let us call upon the fourth team the eye candies Dr. Chaitra your video please eye candies Okay, so this was a very strange case. This was a butcher who came uh, with an injury and he kept telling me uh, it was an ice piece that went into his eye. The piece scan showed an intact PC. The x-ray obviously did not reveal anything because he kept saying it was an ice piece. So there were some telltale signs of endothermitis and there was a high fever in the AC. So that's when we thought let's do a lens spectrum. And as we were doing the lens spectrum, we found something with a harder consistency when we went off. That's when we realized that there was actually a piece of stone. The reason uh, he never really realized it was because he was butchering on a uh, stone uh, piece and he thought it was a piece of ice from the meat, the frozen meat. Uh, luckily, we took him up for an early surgery and uh, there was a cell seal polyp there as well. So we didn't suspect something was amiss. So what is important is that history taking is really, really critical and we have to go to the smaller details. Caution while interpreting these uh, scans because sometimes we may miss something important like this. Thank you. May we invite a question from our judge? I don't have a question, but just a comment that uh, keep on telling the students that the ultrasound does not rule out a foreign body. It can only rule in a foreign for body. But we keep on saying, please rule out foreign body. You can't rule out from uh, the ultrasound. Yes. It has to be ruled out by a CT uh, because that would have picked it up. Yes. So sure ultrasound not. can only rule in. Not rule out. So and don't no find body on ultrasound. You need to do more imaging, or you can ha go clinically. Was it because it was too anterior? No. Yes, sir. That's it's why. No, and and stone, stone will not come. It won't pick up stone. A stone piece, and also because he kept saying ice, and you don't expect ice to still be there after so long. He said, "Nay, ka ice ka aake mujhe." Nay, sir. Stone doesn't get picked up. Stone will not come. Only metal will come. Wood, stone. CT scan is the only thing. They will not come. So anyway, I think that's important the lesson that thing. clinical right. signs of penetration and whenever in doubt, always go for CT. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let us call upon the fifth team, the eye washers. Dr. Anurag, please come over for the, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dr. Anikat will present the video. For eye washers. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And Dr. Aniket makes an entry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, good, uh, good evening. Uh, good afternoon, and everyone. Pharma, so, this is a case of match, match, mature cataract. Uh, Rexis was started with cystitome, and uh, since the capsule was fibrous, so I use Otrata to complete the Rexis. Uh, music, please. Sound. Sound. Uh, uh, Hydro dissection and the nucleus management was done. 
and uh, I, uh, a PMM I was well placed in the bag. The moment I used to remove the visco, the IUL sank in the vitreous cavity. Mm. So immediately I planned to do endovitomy and sent to the retina clinic uh, via roti. But uh, the glimpse of the haptic, uh, saw the glimpse of the haptic which moves anteriorly. So I removed that haptic with the help of MacPherson since the sulcus was present. So I put the same uh, IUL in the sulcus after endovitomy and sutured the wound. And uh, I followed this case for three months. There was no tear and uh, no traction was noted. Stop. Thank you, Aniket. Uh, let us invite uh, question from our judges. Did you, did you do any transplant assisted vitectomy or? Yeah, it was done, sir. It was not visible because of lack of time, uh, one minute. So it was but done. That was the most important message to be yes. conveyed. So what was the size of that IOL? And I saw some holes in that. So was that it's a, a PMA IOL, sir? Take it And a PMA by single piece IOL you put in the sulcus? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So next, we will be starting with the quiz. So team one, Dr. Srini. Yeah. There are five set of questions. You can choose one from Yeah. Huh? That's what you picked up. <laughs> Yeah. Answer to it. I will tell you. The second set B you have chosen. So this is rapid fact. Ten question in one minute. How many you can answer? Plus ten for right answer. Minus ten for wrong answer. No marks for pass to the next question. We don't have to do anything. Uh, we don't have to do anything. All so, will do. Ah. Uh, six. Set B. Please give set B. In, I'll, I'll open from here. Just one second. Ah, screen, please. And time starts now. Uh, how many short posterior arteries are there? 20. Audience, please silence. It's not moving. It's not moving. Just one second. Restart. So, from where the sphincter tubular muscles are derived from? I'll give 10 seconds extra for the. Pass, group. pass. Whose logo is this? Pass. Yeah, Ocriplasmin is approved by FDA for? Vitriolysis. Whose biography is the inner eye? Pass. Name the muscle in the lead attached to the posterior tarsal pass, pass. plate. Which type of cataract riders are commonly seen? Zonula. Fisher's cone spot is found in which structure of the eye? Pass. A scan A stands for what? Ax, uh, pass. Who invented the cryo? Not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pass. Okay. So we are coming to the answer. To the audience, who invented the cryo? Cryo? Peter Amoyles. Who invented the FECO machine? So everyone knows. Who, who invented the cryo? Peter Amoyles. Kelman. <laughs> so we are coming to the answers now. Join move And whose logo was that? NPC. It's not moving. It's not moving. Very tough question. <laughs> so, how many short? Uh, you got this right? Correct. <laughs> second question was new rectorum. You passed. Whose logo? NPCB. Pass. You passed. Ocriplasmin. Vitreal. We got it. Yeah. We give 10 points for that. Inner eye is the biography of Satyajit Roy. Hmm. Name the muscle in the lead address is Muller muscle. Zonular cataract. Correct. Correct. Yeah, you got this right. Fisher's Kuhn spot is on sclera. A scan stands for amplitude and Charles Kellman for cryo. cryo. So you got 30 points for that. So good start. So next we'll call upon the eye catchers. Uh, represent, uh, Pius, who is representing your team?
I think both is कौशिक ये म्यूजिक क्या आया था आई कचर आई कचर गोली मारो जस्ट वन सेकेंड कौशिक टेन और टेन लेना है हंड्रेड आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड जस्ट वन सेकेंड डोंट गिव डोंट गिव डोंट गिव गोली का इसका सर्वर या सो द टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ Normal AV ratio of the retinal blood vessel. Two is to three. Two is to three. From where the crystalline lens embryology. Ectoderm. Surface ectoderm. Least nodule is seen. Neuropath nodule is type one. Oh. What was the first glaucoma device? Molteno. So name the popular fortnightly magazine published from UK is very popular. Millennial Eye. The yog muscle for the right superior rectus is. Right superior rectus. Uh, left inferior oblique. Uh, identify this ophthalmologist. Lee, Dr. This. Lee from China. COVID. Full COVID. name, okay. My brushel spot is seen in? Down syndrome. Central is an unit in measuring what? Uh, prism. In which ocular condition we use bleomycin? Right now, blastoma. Okay. So oh! 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 No, oh! no oh! clap for Koshi. Anything below 10 is a bad score for him. No, no, there's time left. Ask me no. more questions. <laughs> time left here. So normal AV ratio, you got exhausted. this right. Surface ectoderm, you got this right. Leash nodule neurofibromatosis is right. Molteno is right. You tell what is wrong here. Five, yeah. five, five. Number five, private eye is wrong. York muscle ma got inferior oblique left. Yeah, right. right. Identify the ophthalmologist right. Lee Wen Liang, who was the whistleblower for COVID. COVID yeah. Brushville spot in Down syndrome, you got it right. Nine Central okay. squint, we give you. Okay. And uh, hmm? the ocular oh, condition no? is, no, no. Uh, got, you got it wrong in hemangioma. He so he got eight right, oh. and he got uh, blue, uh, ocular hemangioma. hemangioma. You got two wrong, so seven, uh, 70. No, Brilliant wrong. performance! Too loud, too loud too applause too for him, please! The answer too wrong. Seventy. Punta. Seventy. Seventy. Yeah. So, yeah. So <laughs> we'll call upon. Three wrong. Two wrong. Two wrong. Hashul, your team, please. Two and a half wrong. No, three wrong. Two, two. two. Huh. Huh. Huh, minus like 80 plus 80 minus 10. Huh. So it's minus 5 for the wrong answer plus 10 for the right answer. What are you going to improve upon this? Ah, minus minus points will be eleven. Also minus will be like oh pass here. Pass here. Yeah, oh pass here. Is this a one sir? I thought there is no minus. Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Yeah, there is no minus pass here. No minus for pass. Yeah, and the time starts now. Team. Uh, just one second, stop the timer. Eye the team is eye popper. Stop the timer, reset please. Yeah, okay, eye poppers. So time starts now. It's not moving again. Ah, what is the magnification of 78 diopter lens? Uh, one. Which antitubercular drug can cause cataract? Uh, Ethambutol. K spot can be seen after which operation? Pass. Hawkeye's post vision is uh, used by uh, to train which structure of the eye? Pass. Which is the commonest cause of over depression in adduction? Uh, superior oblique palsy. Superior oblique palsy. Okay. Identify this filmmaker who was almost blind while shooting his last famous film. 
and this sketch is done by another famous Oscar-winning filmmaker. Pass, pass. <laughs> Which part of the orbicularis oculi is known as Honda's muscle? The posterior, uh, posterior part, I think. At what angle most gonioscopy lens have their mirror set? Uh, 63. Your time is up. 62. So we have two questions for the audience. Anterior remnant of the hyaloid artery in posterior surface of lens is known as? Written doctor. Written doctor. Yeah. And for which condition PAC CXL treatment is used for? Infective keratitis. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to the answers now. Magnification 0.93 will give one we'll as give right it. answer. Yeah. Antituvercular, you got uh, ethambutrol is wrong. K spot after keratoplasty, you passed it. Huh? Hawkeye is to train the extraocular muscles. The commonest overaction is superior, superior oblique overaction, not policy, so minus five for that. The famous filmmaker was Akira Kurosawa, and the sketch was by Satyajit Ray. The Honnas muscle uh, orbicularis part <laughs> is the lacrimal one. The uh, gonioscopy you passed. 63. Oh, 63. We'll take bad. that as right answer. Anterior remnant, you didn't get that, you didn't get that. Yeah. Final score? Three wrong out of, uh, no, nah, he passed how many? He passed one, two, three. Three passed out of eight. So two right, basically. No, three right. Three right, three wrong. Fifteen marks. Two right. Kitna score hua? Two right, two wrong is ten marks. Okay. So next we call upon Chaitra's team. I candies. So we have our first eye candy on the stage. He said. Yeah. Uh, the time starts now. Uh, sorry. Uh, where the Hasnar valve is present? Inferior meters at the end of nasolacrimal duct. Oh. Dilanthus needle is seen in? Uh, the sympathetic ophthalmia. Ferris line in cornea is seen in? Pass. What was this posterior stamp about? Eye donation. Secondary vitreous is embryologically derived from? Pass. Name this person who was blind at the end of 42 with retinal detachment and popularized the term called yellow journalism. Pass. He, he has a prize on, as, as his name, okay? How many points are tested in 10 the true visual field? 68. Residuary sign is seen in? Keratoconus. AI and uh, nanotech is a, uh, with Elenza, what is that? Elenza Safair. Pass. Your time is up. So, Dua's layer is located anterior to which corneal layer? Yeah. Okay, coming to the answer. Correct. Lower end of nasolacrimal duct, you answer it correctly. Correct. Sympathetic ophthalmia, you answer it correctly. Ferris line Pass. in filtering blade, you passed, no? Pass. 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 Uh, the posterior stem was to encourage eye donation. The vitreous, you passed, neuroectoderm. The person whom I showed was Pulitzer, and we have Pulitzer Prize. How many points tested? 68, you answered correctly. Residuary sign in keratoconus, you answered correctly. And with AI and nanotechnology, Elenza is the intraocular lens, which you passed. So, and he hasn't answered any negative. No. One, two. No, one, two. Four. Four. So 40 marks for you.
And now we have uh, from Iowa. Can we do one thing? Dr. Lalit has to go. Yeah. So can you finish the extempo part first? This is the extempo. Okay. okay. So, uh, this is the last piece. Last piece. Yeah. Yeah. You enter so, Six o'clock, he she number that will six o'clock. Five thirty. Yeah. Yeah. So long, five thirty sharp. Five thirty. Five thirty. Five twelve. We'll, we'll Extend yeah, up yeah. quickly. So, uh, said D. So, yeah. So, your time starts now. What type of gland is gland of disease? Sweat gland. Magnification of 20 D lens? 3X. Three, three a segri streak are seen in which structure of the eye? Pass. Copernicus, Galileo, and Cruz studies are for which ocular condition? AMD. Mayata grading system is used for? Pass. Whose logo is this? <laughs> okay, identify the 16th century blind Hindu poet. This is Who wrote the songs in Braj Vasha? Kalidas. Kalidas. Okay, Stokas line is seen in? Terigium. Tienostase, Tyrosis is based on which principle? Pass. Which condition the extra row of eyelashes are known as? Distichiasis. Loudly, please. He said. Distichiasis. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, time, no, he started at <laughs> two seconds left. So, I started the I question. Krish. <laughs> it's not moving again. <laughs> ah. So, gland of Zeiss is modified sebaceous gland. Wrong. Magnification of 20 D lens three, three times is right. Correct. No, he said three. He said three. 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 Yeah. Three. So, right. Three. Right, yeah. right. right. Segri spot is seen in choroid in hypertrophy, hypertensive choreopathy. Copernicus is retinal vein occlusion study, said CNVM wrong, minus for that. Myata grading system is for IL glistening. Whose logo was side saver's logo? Surdas, you said Kalidas was minus five. Terigium <laughs> <laughs> was right. And anaglyph, you passed it. For the th and the extra row of these three cases was right. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Surdas was black. Uh -huh. So Kalidas was Kali, black. Yeah. Three times is right. Ek das hai. Surdas was black. Three times. What a black man. Yeah. No, three wrong. Das, das ka aapar. So you got three right and three wrong. That gives you 15. 15. So next I hand over to Dwell. Okay, we promised you science and fun. That was science and it's over now. We are starting with the fun. So sit up all of you and get ready to clap and cheer. We're starting with the just a minute. This is an extempo where they are given a chit. They have to speak on the topic for one minute without repeating themselves, without pausing. The topic that is given, they have to speak on it irrespective of whether they agree or not. Both the judges and the audience, please understand it is not their personal opinion. So can I call upon the eye poppers? No, eye poppers, no, who's no, there? Eye openers. Uh, eye opener is number one. Eye openers. Who's there from eye opener? So you can pick one of the drug from Sun Pharma and say loudly that you will Okay, use Sun Pharma is sponsoring this, so this is our way of saying thank you. And pick it up and hold it up. Open it. So Open, it. Like, Open it. What do you Open it. Soha liquidant. Soha liquidant. Okay. Open your chit. You don't have much time to think about it. And the topic is a very, very popular topic, and I hope the powers that be listen to it carefully. Dr. Verma, especially for you. A prestigious conference like the AIOS should be completely farmer sponsored with no registration fees. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a prestigious yeah, one conference. Minute. One minute. Yeah. Show the screen, please. So, 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 if you are ready, 
The time. Your time starts now. Now. A prestigious conference like the AIOS should be completely pharma sponsored and no registration fees. At this point, I would like to say that I have no financial disclosures in this one minute of talk. And whatever happens henceforth, the pharma companies, I would like your support and take this forward through the next one year. I'm sure in the next one year, if pharma companies sponsored it, they will have it in their own factories to cost cut. And they would also have bottles all over, spaced all over so that you can apply it whenever we have dry eye from seeing the presentations they would also probably take us on tours on boat trips and uh, depending on the location take us to movies and other entertainment stuff as well pharma companies if you are here i am here by uh, securing my position here as a part of your team i would also like to have a part of the income that comes from these uh, conferences oh. Oh. i am okay. i am here by ready to join as your staff kindly induct me as one of your member of course i am ready to showcase all your products in all my talks and in all my slides i will always start with the first slide as it is not being sponsored Very good. Thank you. I think that was brilliant and I'm sure Thank she has you. convinced. I open eyes. Please, come on, you need to give her a clap, the audience. She's making it free for you next year. So, Devashish, Devashish and Calcutta team will declare Calcutta conference oh. like this only. <laughs> so, next is... Uh, oh, I come from Calcutta, I will be able to go back there. <laughs> Doyal, please, please call the next team, I catch us. The next team, I catch us. <laughs> Piyush, I have one question for you. All your, say, all your songs say Lerki Kamal. I'm just asking. Middle Flood X I drop. First team is I open us. Next team is I catch us. I catch us. I catch us now. He goli maart hai sab. And the topic is, and believe me, it's not his opinion. Medical conferences are losing their scientific flavor and turning into fun fairs. <laughs> like this, like this. <laughs> like pentathlon. <laughs> Your time starts now. So medical conferences are losing their scientific flavor and turning into fun fairs. They're extremely important. They're a way by which all of us meet once a year or sometimes a year and we come and connect with each other, learn so many things that are there. There was a time when these conferences were specifically made to learn because webinars, YouTube channels and all of these things were not available. It is extremely important that we take this in this right way and make it a scientific event. We learn from each other, make each other better, try to make them, you know, go ahead and this will improve our medical and surgical management of our patients because it ultimately what happens is it is our patients who are going to benefit from this and this will eventually benefit our practice as well. Uh, they should not be so much into fun fairs. They are turning into fun fairs like the one that we are doing right now. Uh, it does take a, a, a bit of the steam out of the conference but it takes the main motto out of it that is the concentration on science and ophthalmology. Which is, which is the most important thing for us ophthalmologists and for our uh, patients. So that's one controversy he has wrecked up. The next team, eye poppers. This was? This was eye catchers. This was eye catchers, now coming is eye poppers. poppers. Use one. So, so high drop. So high drop, and what you are presenting on? Sir, it's all about the name. Yeah. Yeah. Can I read? AI yeah. or? Yeah. Uh, see, this yeah. is called <laughs> destiny. The right person got the right topic. Yeah. <laughs> AIOS will reach the peak of its glory the day all office bearers are women. Can we have a round of applause? So, so let's go. I am going. By no, no, sir. I would, like, I would like all of you all right to now. please stay here. Yeah. So okay. I can. Time starts now. Time starts now. Yeah. So AIOS will reach its peak 
of its glory the day all office bearers are women it's such a long topic to read in itself and all women like to talk a lot they like to take leadership roles they like to go ahead and as we all know i think around 80% are already women but i wouldn't really agree with this topic i feel that the males are also equally important and they form an important part of the whole uh, the whole aios because i do not believe that only ladies should be leading of course they should be a major part of the uh decision making they should be given an opportunity to be equally standing with the males which is i think already happening and women are already ahead in our ai society and we have excellent examples like dr namrata sharma who's uh, who's like a role model to all of us we have women ophthalmological society which is doing so well and giving opportunities to so many ladies even myself i'm i'm proud that i've got a lot of opportunities to be on this podium speak to learn to teach my fellow colleagues and i think that has shown that aios is doing really well on that front i'm really proud of this thank you so much just i would just like to come in here you have to speak on the topic for the topic that was very clear that is what the jam is all about you cannot make it into a debate but i'm sure you will get extra points from your boss whoever he is you see kuresh 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 is already kuresh is already saying that they will float a men ai society now <laughs> you can the adam society we have the optha evers in calcutta you can start so, optha next next, yeah. next is i candies yeah why she is yeah why while she is coming while while he is coming i would have loved to hear that you know what ladies bring on table which men don't that is what we should have you know highlighted in that uh, presentation because we bring something very valuable which is not brought there by men but anyway anand your slip yeah so i said plus because i'm a retina guy i and ye bhi tum do teen saal likhna hai na isko to the right i said this is another one which i think all of us will agree with if god was to choose a medical sub speciality for a career it would be ophthalmology yeah. your time starts now ophthalmology ophthalmologist is a doctor only with more stuff yeah. and ophthalmologist is a doctor but with with sex appeal with specs appeal as you can see one of the judges uh, is the only one who doesn't wear glasses he also wore one to get the specs appeal and why would it be ophthalmology and i think i'm being asked to speak about this as an ophthalmologist because maybe i am an eye witness and the most important thing about being an ophthalmologist is that we can improve both the sight and the vision well sight is what your eyes tell you vision is what your heart tells you and never allow your loss of sight to affect your vision i think it's important to look at ophthalmology as something where you can change the lives of people just by figuring out what they can not see and see at the same time I know I'm probably not making sense and that's because <laughs> God has a very complicated task making an ophthalmologist all of y'all are uh, probably bear testimony to this fact and I'm wondering why I'm still talking when 1 minute is up oh, thank you So were you convinced that God would have been an ophthalmologist if he had to pick up a career yeah. and the very last speaker emulsification right so thank you so much this topic so is I... both spouses in the medical profession is a sure shot recipe for marital disaster <laughs> your time starts now right. sir here it says something else but i'll stick to your topic doel for once i agree with you and i do agree with the topic that's given to me too i'll describe you a day's story that happens with this poor guy I leave my uh, home for my hospital at nine o'clock, and there's a strict instruction given at home: 
in the deepest baritone that I can muster that you do not call me up unless the sky is falling. And despite of this strict instruction, the sky falls every day at least five times for the duration I'm there in the hospital. It is a disaster, a medical disaster, a non-medical disaster. Because if you do not happen to pick up one of those five calls, oh. which happened after the sky is falling, it's a disaster when you come back home too. So there is no respite, ladies and gentlemen. You wake up with that disaster. You go to sleep with that disaster. I have three more seconds to confirm to you that I am a disaster. My, my life is a disaster. Let's prevent all that disaster. Anurag, best, best of Anurag, all. <laughs> just for your information, I had that taped. I'm not just threatening for, you, I'm just telling you. Just for your information, I have the password to your phone. Yeah, absolutely. He has done that. And now from the audience. Can we have someone from the audience to speak on the next topic? Can I, can I call upon Dr. Arup Chakravarti to hand over the mark to Dr. Lalit Varma, please? Come on, someone volunteer to speak on the next topic. Someone from the audience, you have a chocolate waiting for you. No speakers from the audience? Shall I just pick up some randomly? Yeah, Devashish, just, you finished marking? Oh. You give the marks. Shiddhartho. Huh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Bas, thank you, both here. <laughs> Come on, we have a speaker here from the audience and her topic is... Her topic is a surgeon's happiness quotient is directly proportional to his or her number of surgery. Of Come course. on, I'm sure you can speak on that. Of course. Can I yeah, hear the topic timer. again? One minute. Topic no, again, no. please. Uh -huh. Timer only. Surgeon's happiness quotient is directly proportional to his or her number of surgeries. One minute time. Start. start. Your, Your time, time starts, starts now. now. Hi, uh, I'm Anugraha myself. I'm a retinal surgeon. So according to me, they say, uh, so, um, I did my fellowship in Arvind Kwaimathur. When it comes to Arvind, like everybody's more on numbers. How many surgery did you do? But when it comes to me, I'm a little different. It basically depends on the quality of surgery. Even one surgery you do, it's the quality of surgery is what I believe in. Yeah, so yes, like many people are there, like yes, I did 50 cases today and tomorrow somebody says I did 100 surgery. Yes, it gives them very much happiness, but uh, I alone contradict on the other side, but like ma'am said, for the topic, yes, many of them, 99%, they're like, how many cases have you done? Is what they first ask you wherever you go, what is the number of cases and what's your years of experience? When you say 100, it's different. When you say it's 20,000, it's different. So coming to cataract. So yes, the number of surgeries definitely gives a lot of happiness to the surgeon. 100% I accept that. But on a contradict, I believe in the quality of surgeries than the number of Time surgeries. Over. Thank you. That was really great. Are you happy? Yes, without complications, <laughs> you have not learned surgery. If you are not done, you have not learned surgery at all. Yes. Can we have a raise of hands? How many of you are happy when your surgical cases go up? All Disha doctors, <laughs> all Disha doctors can raise hands. <laughs> no, they have to raise hands. <laughs> there is a small memento Everyone for you. Says that. Okay, for the record, Dr. Harshul is happy if he goes home without doing any work for the day. <laughs> That's because Harshul goes into life beyond ophthalmology. Which means his life is already done. Maybe it's the extreme point of disaster. Okay, so let us come to the next session. Doel? Can you go to the next session? Yeah. So the next session is unscramble the scramble.
So, uh, we will start with our first team, uh, the eye-openers. Uh, eye-openers. Somebody from? Dr. Srini's team, yeah, someone? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, one. No. One. Yeah, one, Anyone can one represent. You can one repeat. of you can represent. You can repeat. Yeah. She knows you are good at it, Ramesh. <laughs> That's what she... Yeah, let us start now. So, yeah. Okay. So, your time will start now. The slide is... Okay. Sorry, please reset it. Next slide. Next slide. Yeah, now it start the time. Okay, so you can start now. You have one minute. No problem, please. No? Minus mark. Mention the number and the answer. <laughs> Myopia lab. Myopia, which one? First one. Easier. Fourth one is cataract. Mm -hmm. Next. Please don't prom. Oh, oh, hello. No ALPI, uh, peripheral lidotomy. Which one? The ninth one. You have no negative mark, mark, so you can okay. guess. No negative marking, so keep guessing. Whatever comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That's it. <laughs> so there are, you know, only Estimism one correct Kelly answer. On. Okay. <laughs> now let us see <laughs> the answers. We got at least five or six. Myopia. So, you know, that was not myopia, it was amblyopia. Next is astigmatism. Next is astigmatism, blepharitis, cataract. That is the correct answer he gave. Then, Calaisian, choroid, conjunctiva, cycloplegia, diplopia, and ectropian. Okay. Let us go to the next team. Right. The next team is the eye catchers. Yeah, please start. Your time would start now. Glaucoma. Which number? Number six. Yes. St uh, stereopsis. Could number three. Number three, what it is? Exotropia, number four. Next. Go ahead. No, no, no. Iris, number nine. Could you repeat what did you say? Iris. Iris. Okay, let us show the answers now. Three right. Two right. Two no. right. Exotropia she got right. And glaucoma. And glaucoma and iris. No, iris is, wrong. Iris is not iritis. right. Iritis. It's iritis. It is iritis. No? It's iritis. How can there be a T in iris? So only two correct answers. Right. And as you can all see the answers, I am not repeating it for the sake of time. We have enough time. <laughs> okay. 555. 555. Okay. 555. 555. 555. So let us go to the next next team. So let us go to the 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 next
and your time starts now. The third is mm -hmm. fourth is pachymetry, mm -hmm. uh, seventh is presbyopia, mm -hmm. eighth is ptosis, mm -hmm. ninth is refraction, mm -hmm. uh, tenth is retina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, first is keratoconus. Fourth, pachymetry, I say. How you say? Try second. <laughs> Eighth is ptosis. What do you say? Bola up. Second, second, fifth, and sixth. Second, fifth, and sixth. Macula, second. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. Excellent. So let us look at the answers. Golf score, na? Yeah, golf score. Golf score. Eight, 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 Ptosis, refraction, and retina. Yeah, just missed two. That was a brilliant Eight out performance. Eight of ten, I think that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let us go to the next team, the eye candies. Your time starts now. Sclera, episcleritis, strabismus. No, number, number. One sclera, two episcleritis, three strabismus, hematropia, nine. UV8 is four. Hey, don't prompt, please. Strabismus. Six accommodation. What are the, what have I missed? Uh, five, 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 seven, eight, ten. ten. Five, seven, eight. You have eighteen seconds. Sixteen. Five, seven, eight, and ten. Yeah. Time, is Time up. up. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second no, no, I told and episcleritis. I made a two choices. <laughs> no, 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 only in that, ma'am. <laughs> Let us look at the answers now. Okay. Right. -oh. So let us go to the next team. And the next team are the eye washers. So your time starts now. Sorry. You have Thalmus 4. Number 4 is? Ectropion 6. No, no. Conjunctivitis? No. Number 7, yes? Yes. Okay. So you got two right. Let us look at the answers now. You know, I 
think this event was very, very tough. So simply for participating, I think all the five participants should get a round of applause. So in this round, actually, I'll just give the score for this round. I popper scored 80. I, I candy scored 60. I washes and I catches 20 each, and I open a skin. Okay. Okay, and the last event of the day is the celebrity eyes. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul. As ophthalmologists, we know that is rubbish, absolute rubbish. So, we are going to show you one eye. You have to tell us who. You have to tell us who the celebrity is. If you cannot recognize, if you do recognize, you get 25 points. If you cannot recognize, we show you a bit of the face. That goes down to 20 points. And so we will keep, you, keep disclosing a bit of the face to you. Whatever point, at whatever place you are able to recognize the celebrity, you get that many points. The points come down from 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. So, we have a first celebrity. And who's coming? Which team? Which team is it? First team. Eye openers? Yeah. Eye openers. Which team you are from? Eye openers. Eye openers, yeah. Should I start now? Stop, we'll stop here. There is no negative marking, but do not guess because as soon as you guess, not we moving. stop there and then. Slide. Wrong answer, you stop. Finish. Yeah. Finish. Abhi <laughs> okay. Okay. Up time at ready. This is the lady's eye. That is the clue I can give you. Tell me who's the celebrity. One more clue. Next. Next. Soha Ali Khan. Okay, I have a request for the audience. We've put in a lot of effort to do this. Please don't spoil it. That's not fair. Not on us, not on them either. You have to give it to him. Uh, so, third guess, no? 15. Third no. guess. Cancel it. No, we cannot cancel it. Cannot cancel. See, this. No, I, I got it before anybody. I mean, no, I didn't hear okay. it. So, so Ali Khan. Hey, I, I guessed it. I really didn't hear it. Actually. I mean, again, again, okay. We give you benefit of doubt. We give him benefit. We're giving him the benefit of doubt. But please, yeah. please, I request you do not do this. So, Soha Ali Khan, we have put because to match with the name Soha, I drop. This is a tribute. This is a tribute to our sponsors. Next. Next will be eyesight. Okay, the next team is eye catchers. Eye catchers. Okay. <laughs> he is a celebrity. Yeah. Okay. Next. Timer. Who is this person? Please, everyone, keep quiet. Please it's easy talk. to sit there and recognize him. We have it's to stand here and do that. We have for you as well. Next. Yeah, second. Second. Not very helpful. Third, if you want. If you want, please. The time is running out. Yeah. He is a brilliant man. You do recognize that it's a man and not a woman, right? <laughs> yeah. I still can't. At the last. And the very last slide. Do you know who he is? <laughs> you know what? You know something? You better get a life insurance. The government is coming after you. Okay. Now, 
you can tell the answer. Anyone from the audience? Yes, yes. yes. Jay Shankar, a brilliant man, and you should watch his reels. His sarcasm surpasses mine also. <laughs> the third team are the eye poppers. Eye poppers. Eye poppers? She's gone. Timer starts Who is now. This man? Yeah. Next, next, next. Next, next slide. Next. 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 Double. Next. Come on. He is in the news. Stop looking this side. You want another? You want another clue? The last clue. Do you recognize him now? GK very poor, sorry. Anyone for the audience? You know what this proves? Two people not being able to recognize two very, very famous people. It proves that they are very sincere ophthalmologists. They do nothing beyond ophthalmology. <laughs> Third. Nowadays, ch people, children, I said nowadays children are not watching any news. Even we asked somebody who is the president of India, they couldn't answer. <laughs> okay, the next yeah. team is the eye candies. Eye candies. Tom Cruise. <laughs> this is getting tough, okay? GK comes in. Timer. Dhoni. Your time starts now. Dhoni, 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 I'm done. <laughs> Dhoni, I'm done. Dhoni? Is it Dhoni? Okay, she said it. It's Dhoni. Let's see the whole picture. Is it Dhoni? Okay, you know what? One round of applause. She at least recognized it was a cricketer. <laughs> yeah. Just from his eyes. Minus five. Minus five. Take a bow, Rolika. See, from one single eye, she was able to recognize his profession. That's great. Oculoplasty, she says. Uh, Rolika, uh, <laughs> did you recognize from the eyebrow? <laughs> okay, the next team. Eyewashes. Your time would start now. Hoimunti, who is she? Next clue. Next. 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 Come on, you should know her. She's beautiful, she's famous. Is it she or he? <laughs> Give me more. Do you recognize her now? Her parentage is famous. Not only is she famous. Anyone from the audience? Yes. She is the daughter of Nina Gupta and Viv Richards. And we have one for the audience, I think. No, we have the audience. I, I was a the audience. next hair tells that you know she is African and Indian parentage. We've given anyone from the audience. Come on, the next one. The next one is very easy. Audience, okay. Anirudh Mighty is coming. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't do, don't do that. Anirudh Mighty is doing it. No, no, no. Whoever wants. Okay, fine. He's sitting here and he's doing that. No, no. Come on, first. Time starts now. Next. Time starts. No. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Ajay Pal. Okay, next. 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 Yeah. 
Hey, Tim, did you get? <laughs> yeah. So, at you call up on now. You call up on Sujit Kaidola to say a few words from Sun Vision. Thank you, Balasha. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of so, the Thalmic Pentathlon. Wait, can, I, can I call upon uh, Mrs. Sujata Gairola of Sun Vision, Deputy General Manager, if you are here? No? So while you are adding the thing, if you can commit that next time you will come in a big way. So that's why the podium is for you. Thanks for sponsoring and hey. So we she will announce the prize as well. So just announce the prizes what you have. Okay. I know you're excited to listen to the marks, but the lady is trying to say something. So good evening, judges. Thank you so much, and the participant and the delegates. Thank you being, you know, such a wonderful audience here. You know, we really, uh, to be very proud to be part of this uh, whole event. So once again, thank you so much. And uh, would uh, now the time is to, you know, announce the winner's team, rather. We have two prizes. The first, the winners get an Amazon gift voucher of 7,000 rupees each. And the second prize is a hard disk. We have mementos for judges as well. Very special memento for the judges. May I re can I request Mr. Jaspreet Singh to come up and give the mementos to the judges? So, I mean, Ramnas, say, So, 
So, thank you, the judges, for your judging and sparing your time for this event, which hopefully in future will be a popular one. Hope we are hoping. So, the second prize goes to the eye openers. Eye openers, can you come on stage, please? The so captain is not here. Winners are, I can see only one person, you know, all 10 sitting here. The winners are eye poppers. Do not be dis disheartened looking at the vouchers. These are dummy vouchers. Your real voucher will come on the mail. But I'm not taking responsibility of that. <laughs> 